Good morning. Good morning, Bruce. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good. It is a good morning. I'm like, good morning. Yes, I think it is a good morning. I uh, I um, can't get over the smell of the coffee right now. Mm. It is smelling delicious. Mm -hmm. Do you put uh, hazelnut mm -hmm. in your coffee? This is hazelnut coffee. Oh, okay. It sure is. I am, yeah, that smells delicious this morning. <laughs> I had it in my office one day, and Allie walked in. My whole office smelled like hazelnut coffee. Oh, delicious. It was yummy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm very excited about this morning. Um, we have uh, a really beautiful song that we've... Uh, fallen on, if you will. Um, Been requested. Yes, this yes. is a request. And we look at our requests and we think, well, which one should we do? And I think a joke that we just came up with was to throw them up in the air and the first one that hits the ground gets to be the one. But we didn't really do that. We We're, chose this one. We chose this because one. Because it was so exciting to hear from Bali of Israel. That is so exciting. We're very excited that you're out there listening. We're very excited for anybody sending in any requests. And we would love it if you continued to send in your requests because that's what we're doing right now. We're going through them basically in no real order. Yeah, because we don't know what order they come in. That's <laughs> Especially true. when they get sent from WQEE 99.1 FM. That's true. And that's actually a Ryan, place where you, yes. can, you can send in your requests to the radio station, send them in to us at lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. That's lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. Or you can also send them directly to the radio station at 99classicrock at gmail.com. 99classicrock at gmail.com. Yeah. And you know what, Bruce? I really want everyone to know that we now have a YouTube channel Bam. for Lyrical Wisdom. So yes, please, if you have, if you're new listening to us here on WQEE 99.1 FM, or um, you may have missed a Friday or two, <laughs> you can catch all of our episodes on Lyrical Wisdom. That's right. On you can, YouTube. On Lyrical, just, uh, that's what you search for is Lyrical Wisdom on YouTube. Just go ahead and check it out and please like us. And uh, subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> um, now the liking part, you know, of course we can't ask you to do that, uh, but it is nice if you guys sure like our, can. yes. <laughs> if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, absolutely. And then please subscribe. Because we love you guys so much. We appreciate each and every one of you for yes. being here now yes. with us yeah. at Lyrical Wisdom. At Lyrical Wisdom. Please leave a comment if you'd like yeah. of a song you you would like for us to do. And let us know that you're out there um, watching us on YouTube, listening to us on the radio. We appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get going, Bruce. This Absolutely. is Love Me Like You Do. Thank you, Bali of Israel. You are the light. You are the night. You are the color of my blood. You are the cure. You are the pain. You are the only thing I want to touch. Never knew that it could mean so much, so much. You are the fear. I don't care. Because I've never been so high. Follow me through the dark. Let me take you past our satellites. You can see the world you brought to life, to life. So love me like you do, 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 touch me like you do, touch me like you do. What are you waiting for? Fading in, fading out, on the edge of paradise. Every inch of your skin is a holy grail I've got to find. Only you can set my heart on fire, on fire. Yeah, I'll let you set the pace, cause I'm not thinking straight. My head's spinning round, I can't see clear no more. What are you waiting for? 
So love me like you do. 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 Touch me like you do. Touch me like you do. What are you waiting for? Mm, thank you, Bali of Israel. Yes, thank you very much. Ellie Golden. I don't know that I am familiar with this song, which is in the case of most songs. That's so I'm true. so That's excited. True. Yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> I love just being with these lyrics and listening as you read them. Um, so Because it does set in a beautiful space to be able to be with what is being said here. Yes. You're the light. Yes. You're the night. Yes. It's interesting how the light, I know it's just a rhyme. <laughs> yes. But there's also so much to that, to be the light and the night. Yes. Because it's yin-yang. Yes. It's that darkness within the light, the light yes. within the darkness. Yes, the two. The two are are one because in in the sense of this song, there's um a little bit of a a suggestion in the title, I would say, with the love me like you do. Mm -hmm. And and I like that because, you know, we we can hear the love within the song and within love is dark and light. Mm -hmm. So I feel that that is, you know, one of the things that I love about that very first line is you are the light, you are the night, the two, just like you said, Donna, the yin exist and the yang. Yeah, together. Yeah. And that is, to me, that has to be a, a source of love. It isn't just one. It has to be both because, um, well, you can't have light without dark and you can't have dark without light. Correct. So, that, you know, I feel like the, you know, love is a very good name for those two things combined. And yes. also what we would, uh, I think what a lot of people would hope that we could find in somebody that we love is the person that also has both of those sides at a wonderful balance mm -hmm. within themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And of course, traditionally, I believe Night is when couples do come together yes. in love, and it's an unconditional love. Um, the night being, like you said, that dark place yes. where there is no light. Yes. Um, and then when you share love, that's everything becomes light. Yes, everything it does. Everything does. It, it is, it is and, it, and it's both. It's in the moment that you are in that moment of love feeling like, in this next line, it says, you are the color of my blood. And then it says, you are the cure. You are the pain. You know, yes. it just, it's all of these things that are all of the things. And that's basically, you know, I know everybody think, I, I don't know if everybody's thinking this, but I feel like, you know, of course, it's the all. It's the all. Yes. It's the all of it. And you cannot not feel that when you're Frank in that Sinatra moment. Frank Sinatra had a good song called All of Me. All of Me, yes. <laughs> Why not oh. take all of me? Yes. I, um, I agree. There is something in that unconditional true love. Yes. That, that unconditional, I mean, it's just pure, innocent Love yes. that becomes what you and I really are, what everybody is, everybody which is, is love. Yes. If we're created from love and being the color of my blood, the cure and the pain. Yes. Meaning, yeah, I I accept it all. I yeah. want it all. Yeah. Um, it, it's all a part of this and and it's all, you know, it's it's the knowing when to I, I want to use this example because it just came to my mind and it's when knowing when to drive the car and knowing when to sit in the passenger seat mm. in both instances where in love and in these moments of being the cure and the pain of being, you know, not necessarily pain in the sense to me of, of being painful, like what we know as pain, that is something is harming me, you know, not that it is simply all of the things that we are able to surrender to so that we can be in that moment of that pure love or that unconditional love or however we see that. 
Right. And, and it just, it, it has to, you have to have that moment, I think, or I don't know if we have to have it. I just feel like it, it needs that moment of true surrender to whatever could come next, you know, and, and then also knowing when to like a ballroom dancer, knowing when to lead and knowing mm-hmm. when to come in and, and, and be a part of the, the initiation of the next phase of, oh, wow, you know. Right, which is what, what the um, songwriter says. You're the only thing I want to touch. Never knew that it could mean so much, yeah. so much. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know what came to my mind? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. A, a little squishy, you know, like... When you're whole, when there's a brand new little puppy and you see it, yes, or yes. a brand new little baby that's cooing, yes, and you just want to, you just want to touch it, yeah, you just want to, you just want <laughs> to, just want to squish feel it. it in your hands and hug it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the feeling, yeah. the emotion I get from this line. The only thing I want to touch, never knew that it can mean Means so, so much. much, yeah. In other words, the desire, the want, the, you know, it's like, wow, that love yeah. is so, so engulfing, pure, beautiful. I just want to, yeah. I want to hold it. <laughs> yeah. And I, and, and I, I agree. Cause then the next line, this is a perfect setup, Donna, for this next <laughs> line. You are the fear. I don't care. Cause I've never been so high. And it all like falls into that place because I was just thinking, you know, this, that never knew that it could mean so much, so much. The only thing I want to touch, it's this, this knowing deep inside that I'm going to hold you, somebody's hand with them, or I'm going to embrace this feeling of love that I'm receiving or feeling for something, whether there's somebody there with you or not. But it gives you that sense of confidence that that parachute on your back is going to open up. And when you jump out of that airplane, you're not just going to feel those butterflies in your stomach and that rush of the <laughs> air as you fall out of an airplane. You're going to know that that parachute is going to catch you and bring you safely to the ground. And that is a part of, I think, this love and this this feeling, knowing before you take that leap, you know, it's there. It's something that you just know, you just have that ultimate confidence. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is they very well could have been in a helicopter because never oh been gosh. so high. <laughs> yeah, and, and exactly, follow me through the dark. Let me take you past our satellites so high up, you know, you can see the world you brought to life. Yeah. And I love that because it's like this moment where the um, the, the moment where you think of, you know, follow me through the dark. Let me take you past our satellites. You can see the world you brought to life, the world that is now being created, co-created with the two together. Mm. But because of the fact that there's that knowing that even if it could be like, I've never been here before, what is going to happen now? And then it becomes wonderful. And that world that you see and sense because of that experience. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new world. Yes. It's a whole new world yes. because you brought it to life with your love, which is what we do each and every day. We are creators. Yes. And this is just a beautiful way of saying, let's create with love. Yes. <laughs> let's, you know, you're the fear. I don't care. Yeah. I've never been so high. Yeah. I've never been in this place of feeling so much bliss. Yes. So much happiness, so much joy. Follow me through the dark. Yeah. I there are times that that within light there is dark. We yes. know this. <laughs> and that surrender to that love yeah. can feel like you are suddenly swimming in unknown waters where it can be it can be kind of murky and kind of foggy and scary, but it feels so good. And then, you know, once you start to feel like you're getting that high and you're gotten through you've gotten through that dark period of like, wow, you can say to the person that's creating that. Let me take you past our satellites and you can see the world you just brought to life within myself, within the person mm-hmm. that is, exp- you know, mm-hmm. and, and that, that is, I feel like that's the, the ultimate because truly we're just looking at a reflection. Exactly. We're <laughs> all mirrors for each other. <laughs> and so, so love me like you do. Yes. Love me like you do. Love me like you do. Yes. Repeated, 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 
just wanting to to let the other person know that or letting themselves know letting that that higher self that essence of love that is always around and can be brought inside love me like you do love me love me love me touch me like you do yes and it's uh and i mean then- for me this is like i've I know that feeling. <laughs> yes. Like when you go to a wedding yeah. and you see that the the bride and groom or the two brides yes. or the two grooms kiss for the first time that as one. Yes. That there's something that touches your heart. It's a moment in time. It is it's so special and it is just like it I don't know how else to say it, but I feel like it freezes time. Yeah, that's the touch me like you do yes. that I am feeling from this song. That that touch that that happens, which is not necessarily a physical hand. No, it is a spiritual hand. It's I don't know. It's <laughs> definitely a harmonious, energetic connection that I feel like is like magnets. Yeah that are pulling to each other. They just know that they need to be together. They don't know anything else. And I feel like that is what that last line is saying. What are you waiting for is exactly that. Like, please, you know, but I want to point out that the, the line, so love me like you do is repeated four times. Mm -hmm. And that is a sacred number. Yes. Because four is also the four seasons, the four directions, north, south, east, and west, or uh, in a, um, from starting from the south usually. But, it, it, um, but I, I just wanted to mention that because I feel like that is very important in this song. The four elements. The four elements. But it's, there's much more when you get ether and <laughs> yes, yes. all the others. It's, but. It's, it's just interesting that... that um, Ellie Golding, if that's pronounced correctly, correctly, if she chose to do that, because I find that very, very cool mm-hmm. to uh, see that in here, not just with what we're talking about with this. And then this fading in and fading out on the edge of paradise. Heck yeah. Um, that is definitely on the edge of paradise for me when I am on the edge of paradise that I know I'm on the edge of paradise. I am fading in and fading out. <laughs> I know it's, that. I believe... M- I believe a lot of people I talk to, I know I'm one who desires and wishes to always be in paradise. Yes. And as much as we wish and want it, we cannot really be in paradise all the time. No, there is yeah. a fading in and a fading out because there is life. That's true. <laughs> That's true. There is responsibility. There mm-hmm. is being human. Yes. I believe paradise for me is that that Garden of Eden, that spiritual feeling that comes when you've been touched and loved. And, and you feel that bliss. Exactly. Yeah. And you're in that moment of just paradise. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, a lot of us would, would want that to be or hope for that to be our everyday existence just so that every time we open our eyes or take a breath. But I agree. I think that um, in this moment, uh, this fading in and fading out is a bliss moment. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how else to describe it because I really feel the same thing that you do. It's, it's, it's um, being in that moment of being in that paradise and then coming back out to then uh, as we were saying before, lead the dance or drive the car or, you know, become the initiator instead of just the, um, the, you know, the receiver becoming the implementer, if you mm-hmm. will, too. And so, um, I, I love that, you know, on the, on the edge of paradise, because, um, I think that it can kind of travel like a sound wave where paradise could be right in the middle and you kind of swing on that sound wave above to where you're, you know, kind of in the moment of, of being the initiator. And then you swing back as a sound wave into the moment of like receiver. And then you swing back (laughs) up, you know, we are, we are light sound and vibration. Every single cell within this beautiful physical body. (laughs) It is. And I think of that as, you know, is exactly as you said, every inch Mm -hmm. of our, of our skin, every part of our body is 
is a holy grail that we all can find. Um, yes. that she, in the song, it says, every inch of your skin is a holy grail I've got to find. Only you can set my heart on fire, on fire. And that's, that's where I agree with you. It's this moment of feeling that bliss. And, and that can truly come from a lot of things. In this song, it does seem like it is speaking to a specific person, if you will. Correct. But you know, could be talking to the all of everything, God, uh, themselves. Um, you could be speaking to your loved one. You could be speaking to spirit. Um, and all of these things are, to me, what you know, what can create this feeling of paradise, mm -hmm. whether or not it's a surrender to a moment of bliss that is from uh, a true romantic love experience, or if it's from a surrender to the higher power. Yeah, a surrender to self. Because, yeah. you know, every inch of your skin is a holy grail. I mean, it seriously is. Yes, yes, <laughs> right? yeah. The skin is the largest organ on the body. It is. And it becomes our almost like our protective barrier too, to our inside. Absolutely. And it does hold memories and, you know, all of the beautiful pictures of the past. Everything, in it. yes. I mean, we carry so much in the yes. skin. And for some to want to, to know thyself that much, to explore every inch of that holy grail is such a beautiful, beautiful statement. Oh to my me. gosh, yes, it is. It is, and it's also um, the the it's that moment of saying, okay, yes, we are both the light and the dark, or both the light and the night, the cure and the pain, in the sense that you know every part of this existence every inch of our skin is a holy grail, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and only you can set my heart on fire. I, the passion. Yes. That, mm -hmm. thank you. That is yeah. exactly the word I could not find there for a second. I agree. Yes. It is the passion. And even spirit, when you're talking, that is what brings you that heart on fire, that passion to get up and do things and to be and just live. Yes. <laughs> is when you know you're loved. You do. And yeah, I'll so let you, you set, set the, the pace. pace. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm not thinking straight, you know, I'm in this moment of bliss and I need to just my get... head spinning around. I can't see, see clear, clear no, no more. more. What are you waiting for? Don't you want to join me? Yes. Don't you yeah, want to yeah, come yeah. along come on, let's on go this play. ride yes. where, we're, <laughs> yes. where we're fading in and out of yeah. paradise? I'll let you set the pace. Yeah. I'll surrender. Yes. I'll surrender because I'm not thinking straight. Yeah. yeah, I've, yeah. I've got a lot going on and I'm trying to figure things out. No, yeah. I'm going to let it all go. I'm going to surrender. My head spinning around. I can't see clear which is when you're in that place of bliss, yeah. there are no thoughts. No. Literally no thoughts. No, there's, it's, it's a very nothing kind of feeling. <laughs> and it isn't, that doesn't mean that you don't have Pure anything. Pure joy. Yes, it is something so special, but it is, uh, it is feeling very, very little in some ways. I don't know how else to describe that, but yeah. yes. Yeah. And so... Love me, you know, oh, well, actually, what are you waiting for? Yeah. What are you waiting for? Um, Come join me. Yeah. So love me like you do. 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 Touch me like you do. Touch me like you do. What are you waiting for? I feel like that's like a chant almost, like almost like a mantra kind of chant. Mm -hmm. But I do know that if somebody was really in the moment, some of these things might be coming out of their mouth in a way that was a truly passionate exclamation. And I find that to be well, yeah, beautiful. Because remember beautiful, the beautiful. hearts on fire. Yes. <laughs> yes. How do you, yeah. How do you not acknowledge that feeling yeah. of Joe Dispenza has this beautiful meditation. It's says it's for women because he does speak to women, but this is what it's about. It's about 
intelligent love and allowing the love that you give to everybody else to allow it to come back to, to you. To come back to you. Just, to be the one to receive. Just in that 20-minute meditation, sit and allow, explore every inch of your skin. Allow your heart to become on fire as you let that love come back to you. Yes. Which is in every breath you take. Yes, it is. It's, it's it the is. air you breathe. It is. It's, it's it is. the water you drink. It's yes. the fire that warms you. Yes. It's, it's the earth that, that holds and supports you. Yes. It's, um, yeah, it's love is all around. And thank you so, so much, <laughs> Bali of Israel. This yes. was like, yeah. This Coming in into love is where I believe the heart can truly then begin to create from that fire that's Absolutely. been ignited from that love. Yes. It's um I know there is also a saying that when um twin souls, the the twin flames or the masculine and feminine the divine come together what becomes created is from god it's pure it's made of love yes 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 yeah. it's um it, it comes from love it's <laughs> i um i find that to be fascinating simply because i agree like uh this this is something that uh you know if we all are able to find a way to go inside and learn about ourselves, then we can find a way to look at ourselves and look at our own reflection and, and recognize these things. Recognize that we are all the love, we are all the light, we are yeah. all the, we are also the darkness. Yeah, we're know? the cure, we're the pain. Yeah, we are all of these things. And if we can allow ourselves to recognize that those are the things that we are, then we can receive that love. Yes. And it is because there are certain people out there that are constantly giving of themselves and they forget to allow themselves to receive love. Yes. And so yes. I feel the same as what it sounds like Dr. Joe Dispenza is talking about in the sense that people need to stop and recognize that they deserve to receive Two. Love. Yes. yes. They deserve Allow to that receive. Love yes. to come back to you. Surrender yourself to the ability. Surrender yourself to the ability to receive it so that you can receive it too, rather than just always giving, even though the giving is, of course, receiving. It's, <laughs> it is important to remember you need to acknowledge that you deserve love. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So love me like you do. Yes. Love me like you do. Love, love me like, like you, you do. do. Love, love me, me like, like you do. do. Touch, Touch me like, like you do. do. Touch me like you do. What are, what are you, you waiting, waiting, waiting for? for? Yeah. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such an awesome day. Thank you so much. Remember, you all can send your requests to... Lyrical Wisdom Show at gmail.com. That's Lyrical Wisdom Show at gmail.com. And also 99 Classic Rock at gmail.com. 99 Classic Rock at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out our new YouTube channel, Lyrical Wisdom. Thank you all so much. We appreciate each and every one of you.